um, you, you've played football for a long time. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like this before where a guy goes out and it opens the door for you. But what what is that like? You, you, a buddy of yours has gone down, been lost to the season. You feel bad for him, but it's also an opportunity for you to step in and, and kind of be the guy left tackle. What is that process like for you? Yeah, uh, unfortunately, injuries are a part of football. We all know that. Um, you know, doing this for a long time, like you're saying, uh, every year stuff happens that's out of our control. Um, obviously, unfortunate losing Taylor. He's been a great uh, teammate, great leader, and he's a great player. So obviously that's a bummer. But, uh, you know, next guy's up when the next guy's up, and that's kind of how it's always been with football. And, and why was this a good place for you when you came here? I mean, as far as the way this team plays, the style, and what you want to do as an offensive line, and do you feel like it's been a good fit for you? Yeah, I feel like it's been a great fit. Um, great room. The uh, offensive line room here is is uh, great uh, people, great players, and they do a, a great job of bringing the new guys along, uh, me included. So I've felt like family since I've gotten here, and we all work hard and, and do the right things. So it's been a great group to be a part of. Uh, Eric? Hey, Ty, uh, just curious how important it is for you to mesh with, with Roger Saffold and, and where is that right now? And, and are you able to sort of get caught up to speed with him, just get on the same page with him in, in a week's time? Yeah, I don't know if you've, uh, you've seen Roger in person, but he's kind of a large human. So it's fun, uh, fun playing next to someone uh, like Roger who can do the things he can do. Um, and I feel like we've meshed pretty well uh, throughout, you know, the, the camp and the season. We've gotten reps together sporadically um, with my role as swing tackle. Um, so now it's just getting a little more consistency with our reps, but we've we've definitely meshed. Uh, Teron? Yeah, Ty, if you go back to, to last season, uh, preseason that is against the Steelers, this team struggled a bit with TE stunts. From your perspective, what's the key to being able to get on the same page with your guard and be able to handle those stunts effectively you know i think we just have to trust our technique um and just uh make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect ourselves from games uh, everybody runs them every team has them so every every week it's it's nothing new to us uh that teams are going to try to game you um and this is no exception uh, and what stands oh go ahead sorry and what stands out to you about this front, uh, specifically their guys on the edge, Watt and, and Dupree? Yeah, they play hard. Uh, they got great motors. You know, they have uh, a nose for the ball, so they will continue to work throughout extended plays, um, and they, you know, continue to work into the third and fourth moves. So they, uh, they have a good motor, and I think we do too. So it'll be a good matchup. Uh, Buck? Yeah, Ty, do you – I know you've played a lot of tackle, obviously, in your career, but with Dennis Kelly, he was he was previously the swing tackle here. Do you do you take any? Do you talk to Dennis at all about you know what that's like coming into the year? Um, and I guess what what would those conversations look like? Uh, in terms of being a swing a swing tackle, is that what you're asking? Yes. Uh, yeah, no. It's it's. I was playing this role for a little bit in Atlanta as well before I came here, so I kind of knew what it entailed. Um, obviously, Dennis has an inside out. Uh, knowledge of this scheme and this team. So he had, uh, you know, some tidbits for me to, to kind of add to my tool belt uh, once I got here. Um, but like I said, the entire O-line room has been incredible in terms of welcoming uh, the young guys and new guys. So it's been great. And then going back to the uh, the game on Sunday, tough position for you to be dropped into the, the strip sack happens. But then after that, you, you really seem to like settle down and, and uh, positively contribute what kind of how how was it to kind of work yourself through that or, or did it just take you know go on to the next play yeah you know I think uh obviously I'd love to have that play back um it was unfortunate how it how it ended up but the, the second it happened I knew that it was uh something that I could correct and I could feel the, the technique issue that I I did so it was uh you know nothing to, to freak out about or be worried about it's just something I need to correct um, in the moment and uh you know, playing a lot of ball and being surrounded by the guys I'm surrounded by, it's easy to kind of move on to the next play and, you know, just put your best moving forward. You can't change what happened. Uh, Terry? Ty, obviously you're stepping in for a guy who's a Pro Bowl talent oh, yeah. in Taylor. Uh, what is that like to try and step into those to big shoes like that? And how do you 
just try to be yourself and not try to be, you know, Taylor in that situation. Yeah, I think we all have uh, unique ability and skill sets that got us to this level. Um, every guy has something that they probably do a little better than the other guy and something they do a little worse. So we all kind of have um, things we excel at and things we, we're constantly working on. Um, so from that perspective, I kind of, it's not necessarily anything to do with Taylor. Um, obviously, unfortunate that he went down, but it's just kind of about continuing to work on my technique and my craft. Uh, John. Yeah, Ty, I know you played uh, both tackles before in your career, but I think, you know, before this year, or maybe the last couple of years, it's been more on the right side. What was it like, uh, you know, getting used to, to getting back to playing the left on Sunday and, and maybe going forward, you know, is that a, a significant thing to do when you haven't played uh, much of that position recently? I had uh, played a lot of left uh, coming out of college, so left was more comfortable than right, and it took a couple years to get – equally comfortable at right during my time in the league. So now I feel uh, balanced to the point where I don't necessarily have a preference and or uh, anxiety about playing either side. So it's nice that I've, I've worked uh, my way to this point of being comfortable doing both. Gotcha. And, and I know you, you talked about everybody kind of having a different skill set as well. And, you know, what, what do you feel like when you're on top of your game? What do you what do you feel like you do particularly well? I play very hard. Uh, that's that's one thing that, regardless, I will hang my hat on is that I, I play every every snap to the whistle, and uh, I always try to keep myself in between uh, my my man and the ball. So that's something that I always uh, like to hang my hat on. Thanks. Uh, last one, Chris. Hey Ty, now that you've gotten to do it for a little bit, what's it like blocking for a guy like Derrick Henry? It's great. Uh, he's you know obviously you guys know he's he's an incredible back. Um, He's incredibly deceptive with his uh, size and speed. Um, and it's, it's fun to watch him get in open space and work. So we're all just kind of motivated to, to get our hats on hats and, and get him running free where he does what he does. So it's, it's been a lot of fun to block for him.